No one wanted to turn the page from a 22 and 36 season in 2011 more than head coach Tony Gwynn. We hope that uh, it's going to work out better. <laughs> we hope we're going to play a little bit better than we did last year, especially early. But when you examine that rough year a bit closer, the bumps may have paved a smoother road for this season. Last year we had a we had our struggles, but we were young. And this year, you know, the freshman class that came in, they're great. They're going to help us out. And we got uh, key seniors back. And honestly, just our, our pitching staff is a lot stronger. And everyone's just going to compete a lot more. And I'm just excited for this upcoming year. Last year, listen, we took our lumps. We took it. I mean, there were many a game where we see seven freshmen out there. And the mistakes were the kind. You know, I got this beanie on, but the hair on the Ethan's hat is gray. We have all, all the experience now for a full season, and we know what to expect, and I think we're just ready to get going and teach some of the freshmen the ways that we need to do it. And what a teacher Cody Smith will make. He ended his freshman campaign with a few honors. At the end of the year, I, I really had no idea that I was even in the running for that, and then I found out that I was second team all-conference, and then about two weeks later, I found out that I was a freshman All-American, my coach told me. And I had no idea. It was very exciting to me. It's quite a surprise. The challenge is to translate the experience gained from last season into wins this season. With the three up the middle, coach couldn't ask for a better trio of sophomores. Any coach will tell you you like to be strong up the middle and you know, Zier, Potter, Smith, all three of those guys, they got plenty of opportunities last year and the confidence level from last year to this year is completely different. Basically we know what each other are thinking so it's awesome chemistry because we're all freshmen, we all have the same classes so we're always hanging out. The chemistry is very strong but honestly I'd say this year for the 2012 squad our, our chemistry as a team is just a lot more compact and a lot more together than we have ever been. Like our coaches say we have the best team chemistry we've had in a long time so I think that'll uh, help us go far. It's a quiet day at Tony Gwynn Stadium in early February but make no mistakes about it. These Aztecs, made up of mostly underclassmen, have been working hard because this season they have one goal in mind. We definitely expect to win the Mountain West and our goal has been to reach, get a regional and from a regional you go to Super Regional and then World Series. So our main goal is first to win the Mountain West and then get into a regional. I'm happy that he had confidence in what he said because I, I believe that. I think we're capable of uh, of, of winning the conference because our pitching is going to be much better too. So, um, But that's why you play the game. It's easy to sit here in February and talk about how good you think you're going to be. You're actually really not going to know until you actually go out there and play somebody else. So we're kind of chomping at the bit to compete against somebody and kind of find out where we are. The freshman excuse is gone, the expectations are set, and the emphasis is clear for San Diego State baseball. We don't get into this thing to finish second and third. You know, you get in to win it.